this I have a new tripod so all new angles um, so today I thought I would do something kind of easy I'm still doing a lot of lesson plans for my first teaching job um, and I can still actually stand to have a, little, a couple more decor pieces um, and my office isn't totally finished but this is kind of what the backdrop is just gonna look like for a hot minute and hopefully this is chill with all y'all um, I don't show my face a whole lot on my channel and I think I'm just going to start because I actually have a relatively nice place and uh, I would like to show it off so um, today I am actually going to be using a hula markers which I've seen around the internet quite a bit as kind of like cheap knockoffs of Copics and cheap is good in my book um, that is not a bad word in my world um, so I am just kind of gonna use them and and color a little bit and do a little bit of a craft with me um, I've already kind of pre-made some sketches of different kinds of succulents that I think I'm gonna just cut out and possibly use as um, just little like decor pieces for my bulletin boards in my classroom um, and I actually also already did a little swatch sheet that I'm about to show you and yeah, I'm pretty much ready to get started. So here is my little swatch sheet that I did. I numbered all of them because the Hulu markers only come with numbers and some of them have letters I think to symbolize warm gray, gray gray, blue gray, and cool gray and then the fluorescents have F's on them but the rest of them are just numbered. I accidentally swatched the 50s twice because I am not the brightest um, and then I did kind of like little like sample tests here I did this like picture of a cherry and like an orange and kind of like a cartoony style and I actually think it ended up blending pretty okay I quite liked it um, I did wasn't a huge fan of this blend and I didn't quite pick my favorite colors to do it with so um, yeah I think I did a 41 to 42 there um, but I think it kind of turned out okay and with this test I'm gonna apply what I have learned to um, my cute little designs here. I just found some pictures of succulents online and kind of put some stuff together and I have four here. I'm probably just gonna make all the pots brown but um, I'm thinking kind of like a red tip to these is like an aloe plant and this is one's just gonna be mostly green. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of blue and green mixed into that one and I think I'm gonna do some like purple kind of pinkish ones on this but yeah, so I'm going to start a little hyperlapse and, uh, yeah, just enjoy the soothing music and, um, uh, the joy of watching someone else color, I guess. <laughs>
Alrighty, so here are my finished little pieces. I definitely think they got better as I went along and I kind of figured out really what kind of style I like to do with these. Um, this is really like one of my first big projects with this. Um, obviously I've played around with them a little bit and it's been a hot minute even since I did these swatches. I actually even got this several months ago and I just have yet to film a video with them. But um, I think I've kind of definitely figured out I really like to do the uh, dark line outlines and then kind of do gradients in the middle. Here I kind of think I picked maybe the wrong colors because I really wanted to have this like bluish green kind of involved in here that I did a lot down here. Um, and I think I should have just gone in that same kind of like yellowy green family, which I kind of did over here and did a little bit better. Um, I actually might want to go in and darken up those um, X's a little bit. I went back over this one and um, added some little outlines to it because I think it kind of fits it into this theme a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I think I've kind of figured out exactly what I like to do. I think I like sticking to like two or three colors, lightening up with the um, colorless blender here was kind of fun. I think it adds a, little, a weird kind of dimension to it, but I feel like the colorless blender takes more color away than it really does kind of like blend things together, which I think kind of adds a, ni a nice little like highlighting effect. Um, yeah, um, I think I've discovered I definitely like layering things a little bit more than adding different colors. Um, as you can see here, it's all the same color, just kind of added the stripes in afterwards and it kind of added a little oomph to it. Here, I didn't like it so much because I was trying to do like a two-toned like pebble thing. Um, and this one I just did the same colors and dotted it over and over and over again, but you don't really see the dots. So I think it really kind of depends on what kind of, I almost don't know how to describe it, like technique I'm going for. And I think I'm not really a marker artist. I never have been. I've never really been an illustrator in any way, shape, or form. Um, I just happen to enjoy drawing and it's something that, you know, is kind of relaxing for me. So I feel like with this, it's definitely going to be something that I keep kind of working on and I definitely like sticking to the plant themes. I do that with most of my paintings anyway, too. But yeah, I think this uh, actually turned out pretty good. Um, and just because I didn't totally mention it, I ended up getting the 100 pack of these. This was a gift from my boyfriend for my birthday, along with the wood burner that I just uploaded a video on. Um, I think this one's gonna be getting a little bit more use in the wood burner wheel because, I mean, they're really cool, and I think the effects you can create with them are really neat. I actually, it was just my boyfriend's birthday the other day, and I had um, run out of printer ink while I was trying to print out um, a cake topper for his birthday cake and so I just used these markers to kind of color them in and it totally was passable so um, yeah I think this turned out pretty good I really don't like this one I'm gonna pretend I didn't do that one at all and probably just cut these guys out and use them in uh, on my bulletin boards um, but you know I think this is if anything this is just showing kind of an evolution and how even just a little bit of practice I think that maybe took me mm, 30 to 45 minutes um, it's amazing like how things can change from one piece to another, um, even just in that short amount of time with a little bit of practice, so yeah. Well, I think that is that for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and you'll see me next Sunday around noon Eastern Standard Time for another video. Also, just fun thing, leave in the comments which one of these you like the best. I think I like this guy the best, number three, if we were to number them in the order I colored them. Um, yeah, I think number three is my favorite, but let me know which one you like the most in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!